Hi there, and welcome to the third part in a series of videos about encrypted unassigned disks. And this third part is about making multiple partitions on an unassigned disk, and then if you need it to be, having those partitions encrypted. Sounds interesting? Then let's get started. Ok, so here we are with part 3 of unassigned encrypted disks. Now if you haven't seen the first two parts of this series, then I suggest you watch them first. But in this video, we're going to be covering the following. We're going to be looking at how we can partition up an unassigned disk, so we can have multiple partitions. And to do this, we're going to be using gparted. Then after we've created some partitions on the disk, we're going to look at how we go about formatting them with an encrypted file system. And to do that, we'll be using crypt setup from the command line. So before we just jump right in, I'm just going to say why I want to use an unassigned disk with multiple partitions on my server. OK, so I've put this 3TB hard drive into my server. Now, it's quite an old one and it has a few UDMA errors. Now, in my opinion, UDMA and CRC errors are not really that serious when it comes to smart errors, but I don't want to use any disks in my main array that have any type of smart error at all. So I figured I'd use this disk outside of the array as an unassigned disk, and I'm going to be using this disk with two separate Docker containers. I'm going to be using it with Shinobi, which is a container for CCTV, and with this container I record all of the cameras around the house, and also with sync thing, which I use to sync across to a seed box. So whilst I could just have these going onto the unassigned drive and not bothering partitioning it up, it's going to work better for me having two separate partitions. I'd like to be able to keep the CCTV footage on a separate partition, just so there's no chance of it being able to take up more space than I want it to have. And for the seed box it makes sense, because the size of the seed box is 2 terabytes, so by having a separate 2 terabyte partition on this hard drive allows me to have a one on one copy at all times. So, okay, that's why I want two separate partitions, but why do I want to bother encrypting this drive? Well, because I've got smart errors on the drive and it may fail, if I have the drive encrypted, I can just throw it away and not have to worry about that data falling into the wrong hands. Yes, it's only CCTV images on there, but I don't really want to throw a hard drive into the trash with pictures of me and my family coming in and out the house all the time. And having the sync thing partition for the seed box encrypted. Let's just say we'd like to avoid any imperial entanglements. So let's start getting this set up and partition up the drive. Now using the unassigned devices plugin, we can't create multiple partitions on a drive. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a live image of gparted and make a simple VM with that. So do a search for gparted and click on the download link. You'll see two images here, the 32-bit one here and the 64-bit one. We're going to download the 64-bit live image here. Now I'm going to put the image I've downloaded onto my desktop. So next I'm going to navigate to the shares on my server and then open up the ISO share and copy the gparted ISO into there. So with that done, I'm going to go back to the Unraid Web UI, and before I go about creating the VM, I'm going to look at the 3 terabyte drive here, the one I want to partition up, and take a note of its device ID, and you can see here it says SDH. So let's take a note of that and put that to one side. OK, so now let's create the VM. So let's go onto the VMs tab, click Add New VM, and choose a Linux template. Now, because I've added some extra VM icons to the VM manager, I'm going to add the gparted icon to this VM. Of course, you don't have to choose an icon at all, but if you want to add some extra icons to the VM manager, you can see the old video I made about that here. Now, I'm just giving the VM a name. Obviously, I'm going to call it gparted. For CPUs and RAM, just leave it as whatever the default is. You only need one core and a very small amount of RAM. And for install image, we're going to click on the ISO that we downloaded earlier. And so now here's the important bit. We're going to add the hard drive that we want to partition up to the VM. So click onto manual and then type forward slash dev forward slash and then the device ID of the hard drive that you noted down. And for me, that's SDH. And we need to put the primary VDIS bus as SATA. 
everything else just leave as is and then click on create and we can see that the gparted vm is running here so let's go to vnc remote and log in hit enter to start gparted live with the default settings and everything else from here we just want as the default as well so just keep pressing enter and then we'll go straight into the gparted gui and we can see here the three terabyte drive that i passed through currently it's got an xfs file system so I'm going to click on the delete button here to delete the selected partition. Now I'm going to right click where it says unallocated and then click on to new. The first partition that I'm going to create is going to be the larger of the two, the two terabyte one. So I'm going to set that in megabytes here and I'm going to name the partition seed box. And for file system I want to choose XFS and then click add. Now again I'm going to click on the unallocated space, right click and click new. I'm not going to specify a size this time because I just want to use all of the existing space. The petition name CCTV and again I'm going to choose XFS for the file system and then click on to add. Now at the moment no changes have been made to the disk because I haven't clicked the apply button. I can see here that I'm going to have two partitions made, one called Seedbox, one called CCTV. So looking at that, that all looks good and I'm happy with that. So I can click onto the green tip to apply those settings and then it will create the partitions and format them in the file system that I specified. Okay, done. So I can click onto here, details, and see what's been done. Two green ticks, so that's all good. Okay, so we don't need gparted anymore. So I'm gonna click onto quit, then exit. I'm gonna go back over to the Unraid web UI and I'm gonna click onto the gparted and click stop. And so now let's go over to the main tab and have a look at that disk. So looking at the unassigned three terabyte disk, if I click plus here and expand this, there's the two partitions I've created, both formatted in XFS. And if I didn't want to have them encrypted, then I could just stop there and just click on to mount and mount those two partitions. But because I do want the file system to be encrypted, I'm going to have to reformat the partitions using the command line. So let's open the Unraid terminal from the web UI and list the devices by typing ls forward slash dev and hit enter. Now remember my hard drive, its ID is sdh. So if we look down here, we can see that there's sdh1 and 2, which relate to the partitions on the disk. So first, let's prepare the first partition. So enter the following, crypt setup space lukes format space forward slash dev forward slash and then the identification of your disk and partition. So for me, that's SDH and then one for the first partition. So next we hit enter and we're given a warning telling us that everything's going to be overwritten on this partition. So let's type yes to continue. And now this is where we enter our passphrase and I'm gonna use the same one that I'm using on my main array. And we need to put it in twice to verify that. Oops, so I've typed that in wrong. So let's put in the command again and start that bit over. Again, confirming I want to do it with yes. Now this time I'll put in the passphrase exactly the same both times. And okay, good, this time it's gone through. Okay, so now I'm going to do exactly the same and I'm going to prepare the second partition. So I'm going to put in the same command, but instead of using sdh1, I'm going to change that to sdh2. So that's for the second partition. I'm going to use the same passphrase for the second partition as I did for the first, which was the same as my array but you could actually have the second partition being a different passphrase, should you so wish. Okay, so now we've created a passphrase for each partition. Now we're going to have to open and mount each partition and then format the file system. So to do that, we need to type crypt setup space open space then forward slash dev forward slash and then the identifier and partition number. And for me, that's SDH1 for my first partition. Then put a space and then choose a name that you want the partition mapped under. Make it something simple. So I'm just going to use part one. Then we hit enter. Then it's going to ask us for the passphrase that we chose for this partition. So we just pop that in and hit enter. Okay, so with that done, I'm going to hit up on my keyboard to put in the same command. But I'm going to change the SDH1 here to SDH2. Then I'm going to change the mount point here to part two and hit enter. Again, I'm going to pop in the passphrase for partition two and hit enter. And so now both of those encrypted partitions are mounted, one to the mount point part one and one to the mount point part two. 
Right, so next thing to do is to format the file system on both of these partitions. And to do that, we just type mkfs dot, and then we type in the file system that we want to format it in. And I want XFS, so I'm gonna type XFS, and then space, and then forward slash DEV, forward slash, and then mapper, forward slash, and then the name of the partition that we map to. So I'm gonna do this one as part one and hit enter. Now, basically I've got an error here. It says that I'm gonna to have to use the hyphen F option to force an overwrite. So I'll do that in a moment. But let's move on to partition two first. So we'll type in exactly the same command, but using the mount point part two. And this partition's formatting absolutely fine. Um, this one's done. So once the partition's formatted correctly, you should get something that looks a bit like what you can see above here. But occasionally you'll get an error and you have to actually use the hyphen F command to format it properly. So let's do the partition one again and I'll show you what happens when there's the error. We're being told that it already contains a partition table, but we can use the hyphen F option to force an overwrite. So if you ever need to format an overwrite, then just use the same command, but with the hyphen F. And we put the hyphen F here after the file system type and then hit enter. And then that will allow us to format the partition. Okay, so both partition one and partition two are now formatted. So the final thing we need to do is to close both of the map devices. So to do that, we type crypt setup, space close, space, and then the map device. So first I'm gonna close part one and hit enter. And now I'll run exactly the same command for the other map device, part two, and then hit enter. Okay, so that's that unassigned encrypted disk now all prepared, so let's shut terminal. And looking here in unassigned devices, we can see that it's a crypto loops disk. And let's click on the plus to expand the partitions. Again, we can see their crypto loops disks. And if we click onto mount, because I made the passphrase the same as my main array, they're gonna mount fine. And both of the encrypted partitions are now mounted. Now the mount point that unassigned devices has given these two partitions is the name of the disk and then part one and part two. So I'm gonna change those mount points to something more friendly. And to do that, I'm gonna to have to unmount this disk now. So I'm gonna click onto unmount. And when the disk is unmounted, unassigned devices gives us the option to change the name of the mount point. So basically you just highlight all of the text and just rename it to something more friendly. I'm gonna call this first large partition seed box and the second one CCTV. Okay, so now let's remount the drive. And there are the partitions mounted. And so I can now use the two partitions with the two Docker containers. So my CCTV footage, it can't go over one terabyte. And also the two terabyte seed box through sync thing will be able to sync into that two terabyte partition. So for me, that's really useful. And if this video was useful for you, then please hit up that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And yeah, hey, to all of my patrons and supporters out there, a massive thank you guys. Without you, I really wouldn't be able to make these videos. And to anyone else out there who would like to join that great bunch of people and help support the channel, then you can find links in the description. Well, so that brings us to the end of this series of videos on encrypted unassigned drives. So I guess that's time for me to sign off and go. But whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, well, I hope it's good and I'll catch you in the next video.